the Phantom Punch breakdown. And it has been a pretty heavily, heavily featured Adam Weight episode, I would say. I mean, one of the Adam Weight goats coming back, Hisei Watanabe. Uh, you know, we talked about Mina Krobe, another pioneer. Um, of course, Kana Sakura, Siori Oshima, the Adam Weight tournament in one championship. A lot of Adam Weight talk. So it is only fitting, only fitting that Ghost would choose Jessica Del Boney. <laughs> heavyweight fighter <laughs> Jessica Del Boney the should be Adam Weight champion of Invicta FC I will tell you what <laughs> only fitting can't wait for that rematch but before then we got a striking breakdown of Jessica Del Boney I don't think she has a nickname I was going to go for a nickname right there so she does have, a nickname. She does have one or she doesn't no she doesn't okay wasn't sure all right. The real champion, as Jimmy says. <laughs> there you go. All right. Let me move the seat a little bit here as we get ready for the Jessica Del Boney striking breakdown. Del Boney's fighting stance. Whenever you watch Del Boney fight, it's always beneficial to watch where her lead foot is pointed. Delboni's lead foot is always pointed towards her opponent's crotch. Starting off with the Van Sant rematch here from the last tournament. Delboni likes to set a distance where she is just out of punching range, but in kicking range. Delboni is able to retract her lead leg via hip swivel. She is able to see the inside low kick coming due to the distance she establishes with her stance. After the exchange, Delboni points her lead foot to her opponent's crotch and sets her distance out of punching range, edge of kicking range. Even when the opponent is moving laterally, the lead foot is always being pointed at the opponent's crotch. This is the crotch episode. She has, she has a, a wide, wide <laughs> Again, distance is set out of punching range, but at the edge of kicking range. It's a Brazil fight here. And then here's the title fight. Sticking the arm out like a measuring stick shows the range Del Boni likes to operate at. The stance and the distance she sets gives her comfort entering at mid-range danger zone for both fighters due to her vision and balance. So full speed here in the Zapatella fight, the controversial Zapatella fight. Invites hand fight. Opponent is focused on her rear hand fight, but doesn't realize that Delboni is loading her lead hand. She got clipped a few times. Mm -hmm. Smack. An opponent reaches for a hand fight that was never that never came. El Delboni pushes off her rear foot to land an up jab. Yeah. Incredibly fucking that's it was the, practically the story of that fight. Yeah. Plus leg kicks. Delboni uses a straight yeah. arm post while in neutral stance as a measuring tool for the increased distance. Very nicely done there. Opponent's position is weak due to neutral stance. Delboni puts lead post down as soon as she sets a distance she's comfortable at. Brings up straight post to consolidate her distance. This shows the distance Delboni loves to operate at. You do not see that very often when you think don't. about it. You don't. Opponent enters punching range, the personal space bubble. Delboni pushes off the rear foot to load her load, load up her jab as she sees her opponent enters into her range. But you also don't see a lot of the way that Alicia Zapatella strikes. She's yeah. very awkward. That is true. Uh, as lead up jab lands, Delboni pushes off the lead leg to prepare her exit. I know, the comic effects. 
Changing levels while exiting towards the opponent's side is dangerous due to rear high kicks. However, Delboni exits to the close side. Note that this is harder to throw, that it's harder to throw step up lead high kicks from this position. Exits, exits at a 45 degree angle. Yeah, it looks like she's like off balance, but like in reality, she isn't. Right. Very deceiving. Yep. She's so good. Oh, yeah. Cage cutting. Everybody loves some good cage cutting. Oh, yeah. Opponent only can only exit. Only can only exit to the left or the right and cannot retreat due to the fence. To cut the ring, Delboni takes a side step in parallel of her opponent. Smack. <laughs> Pushes off her rear foot to line up the lead foot with the opponent's rear foot to land jab. As the opponent circles out, Delboni steps back in a neutral stance to widen the distance and line up in parallel to track the opponent. Lengthen stance to step into range. Neutral stance to track opponent and get out of range. Here's an example of striking at an opponent that's backed up on the fence. Opponent's position is weak since she is neutral and readjusting to the distance. Prepares lead hand attack down the center line. Lance jab on neck slash chest area. Crazy. Right hand right behind it. Good lord. Beauty. Who the, who the, hell, <laughs> who the hell throws a jab at somebody's neck, lands, and then <laughs> comes, comes fucking straight straight power like she uh, jessica del boney damn it she made alicia zapatella look really bad in this fight yeah quick reaction time allows del boney to land a cross counter by slipping the rear straight towards the inside lead arm post to prevent opponent from closing distance or attacking that was very quick ghost Delboni prepares an exit by level changing to the out to the open side. Delboni is safe from the rear kick due to the post acting as a barrier. And as the slow mo. Step up inside low kick. Oh, you know it was coming. <laughs> you know it was coming. Step up inside low kick. <laughs> yes, Delboni's money maker. She can use it on the lead or on the counter. Delboni pointing. Her lead foot towards the opponent's crotch shortens her distance from her lead foot to travel for the low kick. Less telegraph. Here we are against Messer Valencia in that Adam White uh, Phoenix tournament. Lead hand flashes as Delboni swings her rear leg up, which makes the opponent high guard. Delboni also swings the rear arm as a counterbalance, which sacrifices defense but acts as a counterbalance that speeds up her lead leg. Lands the inside low kick as an opponent throws. Lead hand that doesn't land because low kick caused the opponent to square up. Reacts to the opponent's wild rear hook by posting lead arm and leaning straight back in a squared stance. This type of reaction time from close range requires speed and vision. Very nice. Opponent pos Opponent's position is weakened due to readjusting to a new range. Delboni takes advantage of the weakened position by closing the distance with her rear leg. Lands a beautiful inside low kick while the opponent had all the weight on the lead leg. Uses lead hand as a measuring stick as she lands square. Oof. Yeah. Oof -da. Throw away right hand to opponent's rear shoulder to prepare an exit pivot. Her stance. 
Just like we saw in the beginning, leave foot is pointed to the crotch and distance set outside punching range, edge of kicking range. And here's some full speed action. It's working that leg kick. Throw away jab to measure distance and close in on opponents toward uh, close in on opponent towards fence. This is the title fight again. Yep. Opponent decides the hand fight, throwing, allowing Delboni to step in punching range and back her opponent up towards the fence. There is a time and place for looping hand, looping overhand shots and shouldn't be used as a label for non-technical fighters. Stepping lead leg towards rear leg prevents opponent from circling left. Looping overhand prevents opponent from circling right. The best time for the overhand is to throw it while the opponent is backed up on the fence and has been cut off. This prevents you from overextending due to the opponent's limited space. So many things. The bony's overhand lands on opponent's guard to off-balance the opponent and force the opponent's weight to fall on the rear foot. Opponent transfers weight on the lead foot to regain balance. Del Boney steps up and swings rear arm for a fast and powerful inside low kick. Powerful step up inside low kick lands. It's powerful due to Del Boney's hips turning over and her foot pivoting. Playing soccer. After Del Boney lands, she gets out of range and points her lead foot back to the opponent's crotch. Of course, it all goes back to the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Sets distance. Delboni sees the overhand. Delboni responds with a lead arm post to defend the sprinting rear hook. Lands powerful rear hand counter. Ah. Uses reaction of lead hand as a counter to balance to speed up hip rotation for rear hand punch. Hard inside, low kick lands. She was on fucking point that night, dude. Jeez. Yeah. Full speed action. Shorten stance by bringing up the rear foot to make it seem like Dabone is parked out of punching and kicking range. Normally, fighters shorten their stance to retreat and lengthen the distance. However, in this situation, Delboni shortens it to close the distance. This tactic, short-term goal, is quite dangerous since a fighter cannot slip, roll, weave, or pivot due to feet being so close together. Delboni lengthens her stance at the same to prepare a lead hand flasher. Flashes jab to force opponent to high guard and retreat by pushing off the front foot. Daboni pivots her rear foot and swings her lead arm down to turn her hip over to land a solid inside low kick. Okay. Daboni sees the opponent attacking from a far distance. Daboni retracts her lead leg as opponent tries to lead to land switch step inside low kick. Well, Just out of range. Opponent's a midget too. So. <laughs> Opponent is under five feet tall. Uh, <laughs> Delboni reestablishes her favorable distance. <laughs> Delboni also uses the inside low kick while the opponent tries to circle away from her. Did you expect anything else? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Trailing leg and the post leg and the yellow and the green. Look how little her legs I are. I know, man. Inside low kick from close stance is a good... Hold on, let's go back there. It's a good short... It's a good tactic, short-term goal, to use when the opponent is circling towards the lead foot. Targeting the trailing leg is an intelligent strategy, long-term plan, against fighters who use lateral movement because they have to abandon their stance to use lateral movement. A fighter cannot attack when in neutral stance.
Delboni feints the rear hand, which draws out at lead hand parry from her opponent, forcing all the opponent's weight to be shifted on the post leg. The hard inside low kick on post leg lands causes opponent to roll ankle. Ooh, good, good, good catch there, Ghost. All right, the inside low kick is not a secret technique or something that requires a special talent. There are three separate ideas behind using the inside low kick. One, fighter can kick the inside of a leg while opponent is moving. Two, the kick forces the opponent to pick up the leg, a check, and they stop moving. Or three, the opponent retracts the lead leg and they are in a square stance, rare for MA, common in Muay Thai. What makes Jessica Del Boney interesting is that she is a counter fighter that uses forward pressure to force opponents to attack on the back foot. If you could match her up with any atom weight in the world, who would it be considering style and nothing else? I love that question. Steve, who would you pick? One of the champions from the other organizations. Oh, yeah. Um... I feel like the easy answer is Ayaka. Because <laughs> right? like, Del Boney is one of the best Adam Wits in the world, and as many of us do believe, she should be the champion right now. I mean, Zapatella's talked about wanting to fight Hamasaki. Not a good yeah. idea. No. Del Boney could hang with Ayaka. Of course, I'm not, I, as I've said many times, I don't think she'd beat her. I don't think anybody really beats Ayaka, not named Sohi Hum. But I'd fucking love to see that. <laughs> this is like. I guess I guess it would be Hamasaki. I guess. Yeah. I mean, Rena'd be fun, dude. Rena would <laughs> be great, but I mean, I don't see that ever happening. No, no. Rena's not gonna take that fight. She's gonna be like, "Who the fuck is Jessica Delboni?" Yeah. I'm not getting up for this shit. I'm gonna go <laughs> hang out with my cats. <laughs> Her, her French bulldogs, you mean? Yeah, her dogs. <laughs> her, her dog. Uh, <laughs> my goodness. The uh, chat is going wild in this one, though. I got to see what is all going on here. All right. So, James, he did say he was so excited for this. Alvin, looking forward to this. Indeed. Jimmy, the real champ. I did see he's already stamina. Del Boney. Whoa. <laughs> Biggest robbery since Megumi versus Frausto. Goddamn, Jin. That is quite a claim, but I do agree it was quite a robbery. And uh, at both of those were. Um, James says, distance, distance control theme this week. Nah, crotches Rue. were the theme. Crotches were clearly it. Man, I didn't know how technical Del Boney is, Rue says. Of course, okay. he's up there, man. Uh, James is showing Del Boney just lighting up Zapatella. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Uh, man, this proves Del Boney won. How Del Boney took it to Zapatello in that fight. Yeah, he really did. Um, Alvin says, this is so insightful. I never watched for distance control like this. Very interesting stuff, indeed. Distance, distance control means a lot, man. Oh, yeah. It's very important. Rue says, damn, punch to the neck. <laughs> yep. Shit hurt. You know that hurt. <laughs> James, just like I said, there it is. The move Ghost is obsessed with. <laughs> uh, Jimmy asks, hey, Ghost, is it better to develop a, uh, a good inside low kick? Uh, is it better to develop an inside low kick than a jab? Seems like the inside low kick is more versatile than the jab. I think I would agree with that, but we'll see what he says here in a moment. Uh, Rain says, Ghost, who is good to watch for the inside low kick in the UFC? Get to these answers here. Go says, Jimmy, I'm not going to give you an excuse not to work on your jab, but LOL, the jab and the low kick are just tools. You develop them by practice and exercise. Yeah, I agree with that. And Steve says, why not use both? <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. Dude, no, no. This, That's what he said. Is, this is the reason why I said, why not use both? Because you're for with the jab, you're obviously using your fist, right? With yeah. the inside low kick, you're using you're using your, your legs and your feet, right? So why not use all of them? Yeah. Very, very true. Um, so Ghost answers Rain, saying Volkanovsky, Kaikara France, and Whaley all use sharp inside low kicks and build off them. Very true. Kaikara France is really underrated. 
I think, with his inside low kicks. Like yeah, I don't yeah. think, I, I think it's because he's not like that crazy well known, you know? Yeah, but his yeah, inside sure, low sure. kicks fucking put his opponents down. Indeed. And Rue says inside low kick and crotch pointing this week. Ha ha ha. Stay with us watch the crotch. Uh, Alan says, what a performance by Del Boney, but got to give credit to the winner, this guy. <laughs> uh, Rain says, the Phantom Punch breakdown title, Jessica Del Boney, crotch pointing extravaganza. I'm very tempted to do that. Very tempted, you guys. <laughs> but I don't know if I can justify it. <laughs> Jimmy agrees. Uh, Stamina says, Steve giving zero fucks about being PC. <laughs> that he is. <laughs> Was that when I said midget? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not to censor you. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, Mr. Lee says, I believe midsection would have worked <laughs> instead of crotch. Yeah. Uh, Rain says, Ghost doesn't miss a detail. Very... Oh, that was about the ankle roll, I think. Yeah. Jin says, This is like DC's detail. <laughs> yeah. Have you better. guys have you guys actually watched DC's details? Detail? I I know I saw like the first one. I don't, re- I don't remember it being that group. Yeah, I, I mean, similar in depth and all that. It's but. really good. It really is good. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, James says, rematch Zapatella. I think that's answering the question. Agree, that's got to happen. That's the direction things are yeah, headed in. They, they have to suck better, but they have to, yeah. yeah. Um, Go says, mine would be Hamasaki as well. Counter-Striker versus Faint. It's just, that's the easy choice, right? Um, yeah. Jimmy says rematch first to get Del Boney the belt. Indeed, he says Rana would be. Go says Rana would be awesome. Who would look to pressure in that fight? Don't yeah. Say that. No, no. I no. Think Especially right Rana, now with the pandemic, no chance. I think Rana would would have been awesome at some point. Rana would have been awesome as an an opponent for Del Boney. Or we'll never see that fight ever. No. Jin says it's one of the best. So detailed behind every move. Rue says he's never seen it. Uh, Rue says he's never seen it. Rain says, unlike DC Detail, this shows up every week. That's also true. Uh, no, no ESPN. Gavna says stamina. Yeah. It's 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 a good show. I mean, it's good for what it is. I mean, it's Daniel Cormier. How can you take him seriously? <laughs> And we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Banner Punch Breakdown, number 12. That was a very, very good one. I enjoyed that a lot. Thank really you so was. much, Ghost Phantom. As always, you are the man. Now I'm very eager to see that rematch ASAP. I know they yeah. they wanted to do it. What month is it? October? They wanted to do it like last month, according to Del Boney. But when's the next Invicta show? They're still working on their things. Yeesh. Yeesh. Either way, 